Well, Kyrios Mu means my Lord, and it's mostly not for God at all. It's the equivalent of Adoni in Hebrew, which on the vast majority of accounts, it occurs actually 195 times, my Lord, Adoni, A-D-O-N-I, not Adonai. Adonai occurs 450 times. So you've got 450 plus 195, whatever that is, 550, 650. You've got 645 samples to look at. And all the occurrences of Adonai, 195 times, which means obviously not God. So this isn't very hard. If you find then Sarah talking about her husband as Adonai, you know it's not talking about God. It's not Adonai. So there might be a couple of exceptions for various grammatical reasons. But on the whole, the rabbis made this very clear to us. And you can look them up in 645 samples. And you will see exactly what the rabbis did when they put the pointing in that way. Obviously, Adonai is the Lord God. Obviously, Adonai is not a reference to human beings. Uh, yeah, and um, here are the exceptions to the rule. Uh, Psalm 15.2 in the Greek translation, mm, mm. where it's addressing Yahweh, God, the Father, mm -hmm. Kyrios Mu. Yep. Psalm 34.23, Kyrios Mu. But note, it is not that full uh, word phrase, I guess, to Kyrio Mu, That's which right. is never used for God, by the way. By That's the way. Right. God is never addressed yeah. as to my Lord in the Greek yeah. Septuagint, as far as I know, anyway. No, you're right. And that's that's very good again. And when we have, you see, the exceptions, the two there, you are my Lord. I said to the Lord, it's when you repeat the noun, the name, I said to the Lord, you are my Lord, and my God and my Lord, where you repeat the name, which is very exceptional, then you do have two exceptions for the Kyrios Mu rule. So I'm so glad you reminded us of all that. I repeat what you said so well there. Tokirio mu in Psalm 101. On no occurrence does that ever mean to my Lord God. Yeah, I mean, as far as I know, I, I think yeah. that yeah. Uh, it translates Ladoni. Yes. So it's Yahweh to Ladoni, right? Yes. Uh, in in the Hebrew and in the Greek, it's the phrase Tokirio mu. Absolutely. Now, as far as I looked, uh, I, I'm using Bible Good. Works 9 and Good. 10. Good. It's never used for Yahweh God. No. So, so God, Yahweh, the Father, is never addressed as right. to my Lord, and it's always right. for humans. So you have Abraham, you could say to my Lord Abraham, mm. Saul, Saul, David, Elijah even. So yep. as far as I know, the full uh, translation of the Hebrew That's Latin right. is never in the Greek, but yep. Kiriomu is never Yahweh, so... No, that's right. I think you'll find it's about 21 times. I've forgotten the exact stats, but you've got five of them there. You can look up all the examples of Tokirio Mu to my Lord. And the Hebrew will be Ladoni. It will never be Ladonai. So the difference is quite clear. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you agree that the bottom line is it's a false parallel. It's yes. It's not applicable, those two uh, that's right. psalms, because of what you that's right. stated. The grammar is different. The Greek Tokiriomu of Psalm 1101 is not found in those two psalms, obviously. It's it's just a Kiriomu. Yep. yep. And unique rare exceptions should not be the rule. Right. Cool. And, and there's this interesting quote, Anthony, as you see there from the theological dictionary yes. of the Old Testament mm -hmm. on the word Adon, which mm -hmm. is the root of mm -hmm. Adoni and Adonai and so forth. For the LXX translators often render Adonai. That's the divine name. Right, right. Not by Kyrios Mu, my Lord, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. simply by Kyrios. That's very good. Lord. Yeah, you might want to add to this wonderful PowerPoint you got there the marvelous quote from the International Standard Bible Encyclopedia under the word law, the ISBE. Well, you could add it to that list there where it says the difference between Adonai and Adonai is very, very important. Yes, and uh, you can find that, the online article. Click yeah. Adonai and Adonai, you, you have that ISBE yes. co comments. Good. You also have this excellent one, the 195 occurrences yes. of Adonai. Yes, great. Uh, but yes, here, as you can see, the form Adonai, Yep. A royal title to be carefully distinguished from the divine title of the night. Absolutely. That's the ISB equal. Good, very good. We've got it all there. It's this marvel and miracle of information on the internet is most helpful. But please, 
Do not believe anything we say. Check it out for yourself. Do not believe Anthony just because he has a sir, a sir in front of his name. 